Today, we're unboxing the Holosun EPS carry for micro pistols. Follow along and uh, hopefully you learn a thing or two. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. VP Tactical here and today we are unboxing the Holosun EPS carry which stands for their enclosed pistol sight and the sub model within this is the MRS which is their top of the line model in green. And we're going to talk a little bit about this but as you can see it certainly got some other features that some of the other uh, EPS models don't have. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to go ahead and open this box up here. You'll see they did some nice foam padding on top. We've got our manual, which I'm gonna point out a few things in here for you. There's a registration card, so this is for your warranty. You've got a cleaning pad for the actual optic itself, a little desiccant pack. We've got a adjustment tool, so this, is, this can be used to actually install the optic itself as well as adjust your elevation and windage. Although for installing your optic, you really should be using a inch pound torque device. Uh, particularly a torque wrench, right? I can't find my words today. With the EPS and the EPS carry, they do come with some plates. Uh, this one does have a, since it's EPS carry, this one comes with the RMSC plate if needed, and then the EPS comes with the RMR plate if needed. There are some additional screws in here, and we'll also talk a little bit about that. This is the bad boy in all of its glory, and so what I really, really like about this, it is considerably smaller than a lot of the red dot optics out there. You do have a number of adjustments from the brightness itself. So eight settings for standard brightness, four for night vision. You've got a solar panel fail safe on the backside, which can also do an auto mode. We'll talk a little bit about that. Your elevation and windage settings are on the side along with the battery compartment, which is sealed. And we're gonna talk a little bit about some of these things because they are important and it's actually pretty cool. And so let's go ahead and dive into the manual real quick. I wanted to point out a couple things. You know, when you look at the EPS carry and the EPS and I actually fell victim to this myself, I had accidentally ordered the EPS. Ended up having to return it, picked up the EPS carry. I mean, you can look just even in this image alone, it's certainly considerably smaller with the EPS carry. And the EPS will actually hang over on the sides of the slide if you happen to get that model and try to run it on your micro pistol. And so this does have a battery that can last, they say, up to 50,000 hours. Looks like it's a CR1620. Uh, and so there's some couple of points that I wanted to make mention of in here. And this kind of goes through some of the features of the optic itself. It does have the shake awake motion, motion, which is awesome. Parallax free. It is an enclosed design. So in comparison to the 507 series or the 407, which I have an open emitter, this is a fully sealed optic. It is made out of aluminum, 7075. And this is what's really cool. And I was talking a little bit about this. It has eight day and four night vision brightness settings. These are your window sizes and then the IPX or eight certification on it. Now, again, I mentioned this one. This is the sub model. This is the green MRS. You can see all of the features that it has. So this one does have the multi reticle. So you can do the standard uh, two MOA dot, the 32 MOA circle or the two MOA dot and the 32 MOA circle. Does have, again, that solar panel on it. Does come with the RMSC plate. And it also has some additional screws. So there's an M4 screw in here, M3 screw, and then a number six. So again, that's what you're seeing inside of this box here. And they do have some blue Loctite on there, although I'd always suggest throwing some extra on there. And so we flipped through this. I wanted to touch a little bit on the battery compartment. So this is actually quite interesting to me. Uh, it looks like it does have a seal ring on there. So you gotta be very careful that that doesn't get lost or damaged. It uh, doesn't really partic particularly depict it in the picture here, but I imagine it's based on that outer edge. And it does look like the battery compartment does need to be tightened with a torque wrench at least to five inch pounds, according to this, also using blue Loctite or thread locker. Something I also wanted to make mention of on this, obviously whenever you're installing any optic, you should be right around 15 inch pounds, if not on 15 inch pounds, and also again using blue thread locker just to make sure that this thing doesn't wobble off on you. And if you're using or installing this optic on a, on a Glock based model, generally speaking, you, you may run into issues if you use two long screws on, on both sides. If you see in this picture here, ideally this should be a short screw just on the extractor. I mean, you could try using the ones that come with it. Ideally you want to use the ones that come with your, your pistol itself, right? A lot of manufacturers will include that. 
Otherwise, you can run into issues where it's binding up the extractor, and so that's something that I at least wanted to make mention of. This talks a little bit about uh, attaching it to the uh, RMSC plate or the RMR plate. I'm not going to go into that, but I did want to talk a little bit about some of the different settings. So it does have a couple of different modes when it comes to the site operation as far as brightness. There is an auto mode, which I'm not particularly a fan of. Um, the solar panel will pick up the lighting, the ambient lighting in the area and either adjust the brightness lower or higher, depending on what you want. There's a manual mode and also a lockout mode. I personally prefer the manual mode. Lockout mode, I mean, this ideally could be great if you um, wanted the optic to just be locked out and nothing works whatsoever. That would be a great ideal for travel if you had to, let's say, go across country or something of that sort and you didn't want the optic going on and off or being shaken awake, if you will. In addition, there's also a sleep timer setting. So once it's awoken, right, you do that shake awake that you can adjust it for either 10 minutes, one hour, 12 hours, or off altogether. That's personal preference. I'm going to leave it at the default at 10 minutes. Of course, this does have a memory function built in where it will automatically retain your brightness settings. And something I did want to mention of too, you know, it's always good to, to dial in and sight your optics. Looks like Holosun do, does actually, in fact, sight this in at the factory to approximately 25 yards. So they do note that here in the manual, so you shouldn't have to make much adjustment if you're going to be using that as your baseline for distance. So that's pretty much the short of it in a nutshell. That's everything that I wanted to go over. Um, if you have any questions, you know, certainly drop those thoughts in the comments below. But stay tuned. Uh, certainly get this thing installed very, very soon here. And then once I've got some range time with it, I'll uh, throw up a... Follow-up video that does my breakdown of the optic, what I, my, my thoughts are on it, how it worked, uh, all the above. So anyway, hit the like and subscribe button if you uh, happen to enjoy this video, and we'll see you on the next one. More exciting stuff to come. Take care, be safe, stay vigilant.